What's up, folks? Welcome back. It is a new year, 2021. Thank God 2020 is over. So now in this new year, it's time for some new projects. So for the work bee that I've been working on and everything that I've shown you all, there is the Queen Bee Pro kit to upgrade it to the Queen Bee Pro to get rid of the wheels, to go with the linear rails. It's all gonna be stiffer, a little bit more precise and able to turn out some better products. All right, guys, we're just going to do a quick little tour around the Bulkman 3D website. It's uh, bulkman3d.com. They've got all kinds of stuff here. Let me just go into the store. So, as you can see, they've got a ton of different things that you could ever need for a lot of different machines, not just the work bee. I mean, they got everything. They got plates if you want to, you know, cut aluminum. You want to do a... Uh, they have the tracks on your wasteboard. Aluminum extrusions, they've got that. See, there's all new stuff if you wanted to change over your CNC to a different system. Your touch plates, drag chains. Anyways, they have a lot of stuff here. I am working currently on trying to get you guys a discount link so that whenever you uh, go from one of my videos and you click that link you can get a little discount on the uh, on the site here so whenever I do get that I will definitely let you guys know go over here to your CNC kits and you got all your Here's your Pro version, your Queen Bee Pro. All right, so here you can see the, uh, it's got some pretty good images showing all the different upgrades. Uh, you can do your selections here of what kit you need. So this will tell you right here, it'll tell you the breakdown, what option is best for you. Mechanical kit comes with all the parts to assemble the Queen Bee Pro. If you are not upgraded an existing work bee CNC machine, then this is the option you require. Upgrade kit comes with, and here's the uh, things that I was talking about here. Your, so version 2.2 is with thrust bearings. Version 2 is without. And then if you have version 1 already, if it doesn't have any of these, then you have version 1. So make sure that whenever you place your order here for your upgrade kit, that you know exactly what version you have. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the, uh, the proper kit. You'll see down here, it shows all the upgrades that the Queen Bee Pro set uh, provides. These are thicker, they're taller. You're gonna have uh, a lot more rigidity because these C-beams are gonna be filled instead of being open. The, uh, the lead screw works on the outside of the C-beams and not the inside. And the tracked uh, linear system is on the outside of the beams. But if you have a specific table that you've built that is specifically to the footprint that you already use, it's going to be a little bit wider. Uh, it's got the upgraded... Um, spoil board. This is just a, a, a different layout that they're using. As you can see right here, the uh, the plates from the original Work Bee and the plates from the Queen Bee Pro. You can see right off the bat, you got a lot more mounting options. It's going to secure this up a lot more. And you can see how I was saying that that lead screw goes out the sides a little bit more so the machine's going to be overall wider. And this is what I'm talking about here because instead of the the C-beam where the center part's cut out, this is going to be filled. So it's going to be a true 80-40 setup. 
you're going to get a better machine overall from this. Uh, this shows you know why. Linear rails, obviously, if you've been doing CNC for a while, you know what the advantages are for using linear rails. All right, so that's all for this part. What one of the most important things I wanted to point out here is that up here, resources. Resources here is going to be all your your PDFs for putting your machines together. You're going to find your most up-to-date versions right here. You'll see the video tutorials, and you'll see you'll see my name up here. So if you click here. It'll shoot you to my channel. But this is where all your, the major stuff is that you need to know. So you got it for all your, all your controllers, all your, uh, your cards, stepper motors. So you got everything here. But right here, if you look at the top, you can go to their eBay if links. I know a lot of people have gotten their uh, their kits here through their eBay. They got AliExpress, which if you're doing these DIY kits, um, you're pretty familiar with AliExpress and uh, all these overseas importers. Yeah, they got their websites on uh, on here with your whole kits here. That's it. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to get started here in the uh, unboxing portion. Um, this kit has been provided by Bulkman 3D for me to be able to put this series together. And because they have, I have to mention it, um, any of my thoughts and feelings on this product and maybe any shortcomings that there might be that we find out um, I'm still going to completely and totally disclose that um, they have provided this kit for me to do this series but they haven't bought my opinions or my thoughts of it at all I will be completely truthful and honest with uh, exactly how I feel, good, bad, or otherwise. And uh, if there needs to be something fixed or any improvements or anything like that, I'm going to make sure that I discuss that with Bulkman and then we'll review how they make those improvements or how they don't. This kit came uh, UPS and it got here in, I believe it was exactly four days. So it came from Hong Kong to Las Vegas, Nevada in four days. And that's pretty damn good. I was pretty happy with that. Anybody that knows me can tell you that a box sitting unopened that's come in the mail to me for any more than a couple of minutes is pretty freaking rare. So seeing these boxes sitting here unopened for three weeks has been driving me nuts. So let's get started. I'm opening it up. <laughs> it looks like our, uh, these are the actual bearings, I believe. So these are the, these are the linear bearings. They're right on the track for the linear rails. There's a little uh, plastic piece in there that holds the bearings in place. So you gotta leave that on there whenever we install it and it'll push it out so the bearings stay in place. <laughs> So this is what I was saying before whenever we were putting together the the full kit. This has got I like this a lot because everything's everything's labeled. And uh, a lot of times 
you get these, you know, put together yourself kits. You usually like they give you like a reference um, photo on the instructions, then you gotta gotta match it up or guess a little bit. At least with this, they're all individually packaged and they're all labeled. So that's definitely a plus to me. For me, that that means quality in a supplier, so I appreciate this stuff. There's a new knob to do the tingle tensioning system. Some spacers. We've got, uh, this looks like this is going to be all for the, uh, the lead screws. We've got um, collars here. And I don't know if these are going to, I asked specifically for um, if they could send me some extra um, thrust bearings. Um, I had one that went out and they sent me some extra. So I don't know how many that you would actually receive. I did request more of these. So there might be more in here than what is in the standard kit. Must have something to do with the bearings. So on uh, some boards, I have seen that uh, some people have had the complaint of these plates being warped or bent. I don't know if that's something that uh, the actual shipping or if that is something that it came like that from the factory. So that was one of the things that I wanted to definitely take a, a hard look at, make sure that that's not part of this kit or an issue that's part of this kit. This is, uh, on this kit, this is gonna give you a much uh, much taller uh, Z access. So these are really good plates. This is huh, this is really nice. I like this. Um, you've got just under 10. So this would be a considered a 10 millimeter plate. It's nice. This is perfectly flat. No warpage there. You're gonna have all new end plates, all new plates that you're gonna be using. They're all this nice, much thicker. This is, I mean, this is great quality. I really like this. I'm excited about this. Queen Bee Pro. Has all new plates. This is a little thinner for the end plate. So that's a uh, six mil. It's pocketed on these. They're pocketed on both sides to accept the thrust bearing. That's that's a big upgrade difference because uh, a lot of people were confused because on the uh, on the work bee, the stock plates only had a an insert on one side. So now this is gonna take all that confusion or any of that misunderstanding, it's gonna eliminate that. So there's our other side plate. This is gonna be, this is what the, uh, and here again, you got your thrust bearing on both sides. This is gonna be your whole X gantry support here. All right, so let's tackle this big box now. Oh, these are our rails here. It's another uh, 2040 rail excursion. So, so this is 
as you can see, this is all the way it's packaged. It's got this molded There's definitely one linear rail. So we got three here. We got this 2040 extrusion. So we got another 20 by 40 extrusion. We got three more linear rails and we got the distort rails that are uh, almost for sure these are for your actual spindle. And that's it in this box. So that was pretty simple. All right, guys. It's good to see you guys back again. Like I said, it's uh, 2021. It's time to uh, hopefully be going downhill on everything. And hopefully these vaccines get out to everybody and the whole world as we know it can get a little healthier. And life can hopefully kind of get back to normal and what we remember it to be. Because I, I don't think that anything has been remotely close to what anybody would call normal. And uh, everybody's hurting. It's definitely affected every person on this planet in a negative way, but a lot of pos positives have come out of it too. So hopefully, like I said, we can get back to somewhat normal and hopefully we can all be better for it. So all right guys, I'll see you on the next episode. We'll start putting this sucker together.